physics laws, law of conservation and energy balance equation. The power generation system involves cylindrical steel buckets, half open and half closed having mass 100 kilograms, designed to float, and circular metal block, mass 860 kilograms of mild steel, zinc coating for loading in upper portion of empty buckets. 1J shaped cemented empty column having lower end 1.5 meter high and upper end 100 meter high, filled with water. All such water columns are arranged in one row sharing one side wall and one back wall to reduce construction volume. This structure used 2000 times 40 square meter or 20 acre land for 100 megawatts net power. 1067 empty buckets float by buoyancy in water at different height with half meter per second up speed reach on top of water column, collect in circular reservoir. The reservoir at the column's top holds 30 partially submerged, bottom up empty buckets circulating in a loop between two steel rods. Eight buckets exit and eight enter the reservoir per second, maintaining a constant count. Floating buckets strike on conical bottom shape ABC and directed towards periphery of two round circular rods. At one location in path moving inclined channel 7 lift these buckets. From the reservoir, buckets move to channel 7, an inclined conveyor that lifts them above water to drain residual liquid and forwards them to vertical robotic arms. Vertical robotic arm has two opposite arms for gripping each bucket from the sides from top of channel 7 and rotate buckets from a bottom up to a bottom down orientation, placing them onto an 85 meter high stack of empty buckets in a vertical pipe with an 8 bucket per second rate. Channel 7 is 0.2 meter narrower than the bucket diameter to support this mechanism. For working robotic arms mechanically without electronics, a pulling spring is fixed between each opposite arms of wheel. A curved plate is also fixed externally between arms in such a way that when arms leave the plate then spring pull the opposite arms to grip the buckets. When arms strike the plate then increase distance between opposite arms to leave bucket. An 85 meter vertical pipe, positioned 15 meters above ground and parallel to the water column, holds 170 stacked empty buckets, 0.5 meters each. Bearings on the pipe's inner surface reduce friction and ensure alignment, with the lowest bucket supporting the stack's weight. Bearings are fixed on external plate enter in pipe with cut in wall of pipe, enable change of single bearing if need. The entire load of these 170 empty buckets passes over two rim pulleys, descending at a speed of 4 meters per second without slipping. The rotating rim pulleys are connected to a generator, transferring mechanical energy for power generation. After passing the rim pulleys, the empty buckets are placed onto a horizontal track channel 8 that moving buckets at 6 meters per second speed. To extend filing time, tilde 3 seconds per bucket, buckets transfer from channel 8 to a horizontal circular disc, where 24 buckets are filled simultaneously with 860 kilograms of metal blocks using a central filling arm. The tangential speed of disc is 6 meters per second at which loaded buckets exit from disc using centrifugal force. If the horizontal disc is not used then extends channel 8 length to filing blocks in buckets and delivered to next water column entry gate. In total, 8 empty buckets enter per second on disc and 8 loaded buckets per second exit from the disc or channel 8. Buckets exit from horizontal disc are gripped at the sides by another vertical rotating arms fitted with rotating fingers which convert the horizontal motion of heavy bucket into a downward inclined path while securely holding the loose block in place. Here arms do not hold weight of loaded bucket but fastly push down the bucket with small tilting upper side to smoothly placing the buckets on gate stack. The gate stack is a 30 degree inclined arrangement of 44 buckets positioned on an inclined channel between the lower end of the water column and the horizontal disc. At the roof of the lower end, an entry gate fitted with a circular valve regulates the transfer of loaded buckets from gate stack into the water column at a constant rate of 8 buckets per second. Upon entry, the buckets strike the belt of a pushing pulley inside the water which drives them horizontally from the lower end toward the upper end and then bucket inward due to lower portion empty. The buckets release the metal block, become empty, and float up by buoyancy. This flexible rubber valve has increasing thickness from lower end to upper end in round pipe form. Only lower end of valve touch with cylindrical buckets. 
water press flexible valve and valve press cylindrical bucket. Since no space exists between valve and buckets, therefore no water leakage is possible. This is perfect even in small vibration in buckets motion. Metallic blocks, delivered via buckets, descend towards bottom, are placed on a base-mounted rotating plate. Plate direct blocks uniformly towards circular flexible valve in the wall of water column and two wheels at valve align and push block in valve. Outside of the circular valve, 53 blocks make 60 degree incline stack on smooth bearing, fixed onto rail lines having vertical height 13 meter and inclined length 15 meter. Since metallic block has density 7,800 kg per cubic meter and water density is 1,000 kg per cubic meter, then 100 meter water pressure balance blocks height, 100 times 1,000, 7,800 is equal to 13 meter. Means, 13 meter blocks weight is equal to 100 meter water weight. If one block exit from this inclined stack, then one new block enter in valve and water pressure push the stack upward. From this 13 meter height, an industrial bucket's elevator lifts blocks 1.5 meter high to place onto empty buckets on horizontal disc at 8 blocks per second rate. To synchronize process, all rotating parts like rim pulleys, horizontal disc rotating robotic arms and gate stack channel are coupled by gear system. 44 blocks in 30 degree inclined at gate is equal to 22 blocks in vertical stack. The system claims to sustain this process with only 22 blocks loaded buckets in the vertical gate stack, leveraging kinetic energy at 4 meters per second while inserting 8 buckets per second into the water. The system uses concept high-speed gravity descent and low-speed buoyancy accent. Technical Feasibility Bucket Specifications Empty Bucket Mass 100 kg Height is equal to 0.5 meter diameter is equal to 0.75 meter. Bucket cross-section area, A, is equal to pi r2, 0.4418 square meter. Volume of bucket is equal to A x H is equal to 0.4418 x 0.5 is equal to 0.2209 meter 3. Circular block. Density of metal block is equal to 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. Mass of one block is equal to 860 kilograms. Diameter 0.7 meter and height 0.28 meter. Total mass each loaded bucket is equal to 100 plus 860 equals 960 kg. Entry gate pressure. Dynamic pressure will be a half fixed density XV2 is equal to a half x 3900 times 4 x 4 is equal to 31200 pascal and static pressure is equal to 1000 x 9.8 x 98.5 is equal to 965300 pascal total water pressure on gate is equal to static pressure plus dynamic pressure is equal to 965300 plus 31200 equals 996500 pascal then water thrust on gate is equal to bucket bottom area x water pressure is equal to 0 0.4418 x 996500 is equal to 4,40,254 newton. Gate stack specifications. Vertical component of 44 buckets inclined at 30 degree is equal to 44 sine 30 is equal to 44 a half is equal to 22. Number of buckets in stack is equal to 22. Total stack mass is equal to 22 times 960 equals 21,120 kg. Stack speed is equal to 4 meters per second downward. Entry rate is equal to 8 buckets per second. Forces at entry gate. Upward water thrust force is equal to pressure x bottom area of bucket is equal to 0 0.4418 x 996500 is equal to 440254 newton downward force in stack gravitational force from 22 buckets mg is equal to 22 times 960 times 9.8 is equal to 206976 m total kinetic energy of 22 loaded buckets at 4 meters per second is equal to 1, 2 mv2 is equal to 1, 2x, 22 times 960, times 42 is equal to 1,68,960 joule. Force due to kinetic energy is equal to kinetic energy, 
insertion depth per bucket is equal to 1,68,960-0.5 is equal to 3,37,920 Newton. Total force applied by 22 loaded buckets in stack is equal to 2,6976 plus 3,37,920 equals 5,44,896 Newton. 544896 Newton, which is greater than force required to insertion 440254 Newton. So, force in dynamic stack is greater than thrust force on stack including valve pressure and frictions. It means insertion easily possible. Since this force is available each time a bucket enters, and the stack remains in uniform motion, it is not spread across multiple insertions but is effectively applied per insertion due to conservation of momentum and energy. This means neither the mass nor the velocity of the gate stack is reduced. In steady state, the gate stack acts like a moving piston, delivering full kinetic energy with every bucket, and the bottom bucket transfers this energy into the water. By this force after all friction loss, energy enter in water is equal to force asterisk distance is equal to 4,40,254 times 4 equals 1,716 kilojoule per second is equal to 1.713 megawatt power enter in water, which is divided into two parts, one for floating buckets lifting and second for metal blocks lifting. That is interesting. If... Insertion becomes possible by 22 buckets and height of 22 buckets in stack on gate is 11 meter and entry gate height is 1.5 meter then top of loaded bucket stack height from ground is 12.5 meter, which is almost equal to height of metal blocks column 13 meter by water pressure. Gate pressure management. Flow dynamics. Increased stack speed can raise pressure below the gate, but this pressure is reduced by controlling the water's upward flow speed. Similar to reducing pressure at the base of a V-shaped water flow by splitting the outflow into two equal pipes. Floating buckets lifting. Empty buckets float in water and reach on top of water column and then exit. Eight buckets per second exit from water and eight buckets per second enter in water. More buckets float with slow speed or less buckets float with high gives same result that eight buckets per second reach on top of water column, so floating speed is not a concern. Floating buckets not only gain potential energy in lifting but also maintain 100 meter water column height for using in metal blocks lifting. To synchronize process, all rotating parts are coupled by gear system. Metal blocks lifting, 13 meters by water pressure mass of block per bucket, 860 kilograms. Mass flow rate, 8 times 860 equals 6880 kg gas power to lift 13 meters. 6880x 9.8x 13 is equal to 8,76,512 joules per second is equal to 0.876 megawatt by water pressure. Output power on generator. In 85 meter buckets are 170, each of 100 kilograms mass moving down with 4 meters per second speed in air produce force 170 times 100 x 9.8 is equal to 1,66,600 newton. By this force generator generate power 166600 x 4 is equal to 6,66,400 watt is equal to 0.67 megawatt. Input power. Lifting 8 block per second at 1 meter height by buckets escalator is equal to 8 asterisk 860 asterisk 9 dot 8 asterisk 1 is equal to 66,424 watt. Power used in pushing pulley is equal to 16,000 watt. Power used by horizontal disc is equal to 2,000 watt. Power used in moving track at base of water column is equal to 2,000 watt. Power used in mechanical arms at top is equal to 2000 watt. Power used in rotating arms, upper and lower, is equal to 4000 watt. Total input power is equal to 92,424 watt is equal to 0.093 megawatt. Output. Input is equal to 0.672 0.093 is equal to 0.577 megawatt. After friction and efficiency net power gain is equal to 0.5 megawatt. Return in gravity buoyancy system when scale up 100 megawatts capacity. Metric. Value. Capital expenditure. 572 crore rupees. 
level is the cost of energy 0.65 to rupees per kilowatt hour annual output 788.4 million kwh tariff ppa to rupees per kilowatt hour annual revenue 157.68 crore rupees operations and maintenance 3 crore rupees net profit 154.68 crore rupees per year roi return on investment 27.23 percent payback period 3.67 years grid operators need predictable baseload capable renewable options given in this project factor this system solar wind lcoe 0.652 rupees per kilowatt hour 2.33.00 2.83.20 land per megawatt need tilde 0.25 acre 4 to 5 acres 0.530 acres 24 7 output yes no daytime no variable grid cost low high remote high remote system life 60 years 25 years 20 to 25 virus please comment and like